This model is going to show us some of the things that we can change on our mousetrap car and what effect it will have on the car's performance. One factor to think about is the length of the lever arm. There are certain advantages to having an arm that's longer or shorter. I'm going to use a digital force sensor to measure how hard the lever arm will pull the string at each of these lengths. At the shortest length, the arm can apply 0.85 pounds of force. At the next length, the arm is applying 0.7 pounds of force. At its greatest length, the arm applies only 0.1 pounds of force. So as you can see, the longer the arm, the less force it can pull string with. This makes a difference when you're trying to get your car rolling at the beginning of the run. Cars that are heavier will require more force to get moving, and lighter cars will require less. There's also an advantage to having a longer lever arm. A shorter arm is only able to pull a small amount of string off the axle. A short string can't wrap around the axle as many times, so that means that the axle and wheel won't get very many revolutions before the string runs out. This example shows a wheel with a 22 inch circumference, so each time it turns, the wheel would roll 22 inches. The short string can only wrap around the axle about eight times, which means the wheel is only going to turn about eight times. At 22 inches per revolution, that means that in eight revolutions, we can expect the wheel to roll 176 inches or 14.67 feet before running out of power. By using a longer lever arm, we're able to pull much more string from the axle. The longer string can wrap around the axle many more times, so when it unwinds, the wheel gets a lot more revolutions. This string turns the wheels 34 times. At 22 inches per revolution, that means that in 34 revolutions, the car would move 784 inches or 62.3 feet before running out of power. So when choosing an arm length, realize that a shorter arm will let you pull with more force, but will not cover as much distance, and a longer arm will cover a lot more distance, but will pull with a lot less force. Whatever your arm length, you will want to be sure that your mousetrap is positioned an appropriate distance from the axle. You want the end of the arm to fall exactly on the axle so all of the string can be used for wrapping. If the arm sticks out past the axle, some of the string will be wasted and you'll be using a longer arm without getting the advantage of more wraps of string. Another thing to consider when you're designing your mousetrap car is the size of the wheel and axles. Bigger wheels will travel farther every time they turn, but as we will see, there's a trade-off to that extra distance. This model shows us two different size wheels connected to an axle. When string is pulled off of the axle, that makes the wheel turn. To do this, the force pulling the string has to overcome the weight of the car and get the wheels rolling. To simulate the weight of the car, I'll hang a one pound weight from the smaller wheel. This wheel has a 16.1 inch circumference, so it would roll about 16 inches per revolution. Lifting the weight using the small wheel takes about three and a half pounds of force. Now let's see what happens when I try to lift the same weight using the big wheel. The big wheel requires about 14.7 pounds of force to move the same weight. So even though the large wheel covers a lot of distance, the amount of force needed to turn it is much greater than the small wheel. You can give yourself more force by changing the size of your axle. Some designs use pulleys on the axle, which work sort of like gears on a bicycle. When the string is wrapped around a larger pulley, it pulls with greater force, but will have fewer wraps of string and therefore cover less distance. But if the string unwinds onto a smaller pulley, it will pull with less force and the string can be wrapped around the axle more times, resulting in more distance. These are just a couple of examples of factors that will affect how well your car works. You'll need to think carefully to plan the way that you want to design your car. Good luck, and get to work!